then we'll see how we go. But, yeah, this is just... So, yeah, Yemen's lineup, we don't really know. Australia's lineup, we know, so I'll pause. Want a... I think it's TV. Replay camera behind the goal. Key highlights. Turn the speed up a bit. So Australia playing with, and here we go. First highlight of the game. When are we going to see something? I need Australia to prove to me that they are good at this. Moy on the free, whips it in, and it almost led to a goal. But now, Al Kedi tried something from Yemen. Let's see what happens here with Australia, chat. Australia. Let's see if they can do a football and score a goal. Aaron Moy is on the ball. What's he going to do here? Aaron Moy. And he's missed. He's gone for the... He's gone for the shot. Karatich throws it into Rogic. Moy has it now. Degenek. Out to Moy. Cummings very deep. I know he was deep lying, but I don't know if he was meant to be that deep. Karatich. Matthew Leckie on the right. Puts it into Mabil. Mabil to Cummings, and that is a chance. It is a corner. Aaron Moy. Oh, I only put the corner tactic on for the left, or the right side of the corners, not the left. A bit annoying. But let's see what happens here. Leckie gets the ball. It's over to Mabil. Mabil cuts in, and it is a corner again. For Australia. Australia working hard. Aaron Moy whips it in. Only as far as Lecky outside the box. Rouse. Don't think he's going to do enough with it on that side. But let's see, chat. Australia have done well. Worked well. Cummings is probably a bit too deep. I'll probably have to change him in the second half to like an advanced sort of role. Just get him a bit further up the pitch. Bit hitch. Bit hitch to Lecky. Karacic, Lecky, Karacic, Moy, Lecky, Mabil taps in, it is 1-0 to Australia, in this friendly against Yemen chat, it's taken 35 minutes to break Yemen down, but Australia have had all the chances, and I have a lot of faith in this side, against the likes of Tunisia. We're going to make a tactical switch. We are going to play Cummings as a advanced forward. Going to get him a bit further up the pitch. Didn't think he was doing an awful lot in that half. So that'll be our only real change in terms of in terms of put in terms of roles. The rest of the team did quite well. Rogic. Rogic out to Degenek into Moy Devlin. The Yemen players are fighting pretty hard here. Yeah, Rowles over to Mobil, and they get the ball. Lecky. Lecky on that right-hand side. He's been causing problems for the Yemen defenders all day. Karadzic, and it is a corner for Australia. So, Aaron Moy is going to put it in, and the Yemen players just never seem to do anything. With the corner. The hitch. The bill. It's in. And it's off the bar for a goal kick. It's off the bar for a goal kick. Moy puts it short. Degenek. And it is over for another. For another corner. Not even a corner. Apologies. Yemen yeah, goes short. Along Cummings, the cum dog, and there he goes. His first goal for Australia in a friendly against Yemen. That change certainly helps. And Aaron Moy, being on that deep lying playmaker role, certainly helped out. So, Australia 2, McLaren is going to come on. Mullenstein has suggested that McLaren come on. Cummings has put in a good shift. 
but McLaren is going to come on. Bitch. Devlin. Moy. Moy finds him a bill. And he did quite well. And that was almost. It's offside. But Australia doing very well. Will Yemen try and pull one back here? They, they put it in. But only as far as Fran Karacic. McLaren. Lecky. Gets it from his city compatriot McLaren. Back to Karacic. Who's been dominant on that side. And McLaren has scored. The city boys combining. Australia make it three. I like this. I like this from Australia. Australia doing the bits, as they say. We're going to bring off Rogic for McGree. But yeah, Australia, 24 shots. Not letting Yemen have one. McLaren, Mobile, and Cummings, the goal scorers. Denmark play Schmeichel, Kier, Christensen, Wass, and Nilsson. Hoiberg, Delaney, Male, Skov, Olsen, Eriksson, and Martin Braithwaite. Don't know how that's going to line up. But you can see here, this is huge, Jack. Australia versus Denmark. Game numero uno. It's playing in a 3 4. It's playing in a 3 4 3. I don't know if this is how they play in real life. We're going to see how it plays. This is how I would play against Denmark. Obviously, everyone's different. You can tell by the stats. We're not doing an awful lot early, which is always a bad sign in Football Manager. But we're not looking for results. We're looking for a draw. Like, a draw would be enough tonight against against this Denmark side. If we can get a point out of them, we can beat Tunisia. See, look at this. Karacic gets it to Moy. Moy to Devlin. Over the back to Mabil. And Mabil goes wide. Mabil goes wide. Chat. Skov. Olsen to Male. Male runs in and Male hits the post. It's cleared. Only as far as Thomas Delaney. And Denmark get it back, but it is a corner. It's blocked. It is blocked. Ericsson's going to take this. This is always a scary moment here. And, oh, it's... Oh, it's a free for Australia. Delaney pushed Sutar in the build-up. So let's see. And it's an Ericsson free, and it's cleared. Wass, back to Ericsson. Wass. And Australia through Lecky. Lecky. Back to, as is Vejic, into Hrustic. Hrustic finds Mabil, and he can't do anything with it. I assume it's going to be half-time any minute now. But Hrustic finds Lecky. Oh, Lecky. Lecky. Oh, yes. Let's go. The Australians have smashed and grabbed against Denmark. For 1-0 at the break. I don't want to say that we're starting well. But. We're starting better than we needed to. Lecky scores the goal. Denmark on the attack. Early in the second half. They know this is their best chance for points. And. Male. So here we go. Hrustic. Bejic. Devlin. Puts it in. Over to Lecky, and it is over the bar for a goal kick. Here we go. Aaron Moy. Aaron Moy puts it in! Ooh. If I don't sound that loud, it's because it's 10 o'clock at night. It's 10.30 at night here, but Aaron Moy has put it in, and Australia lead 1-0 here in Qatar against Denmark. This is big. This is huge for Australia and their World Cup hopes. I was just expecting we're going to bring Kowal on at some stage. Oh! Sutar! Sutar at the back, it's two! Big Harry from the back post. We're going to watch the replay. Hrustich! Big Harry Sutar finds the man. And, well, I'm going to pause for a second so I can actually bring on Garang Kowal. 
because I want to bring on the X Factor known as Garen Quall. But big Harry Sukhtar boys. We bought on McLaren as well. If this happens in real life, and it looks like it's happening in this game at least, this is a game. This is a game. On out here looking for a win. France have made two changes. Fakir out and Hernandez for Griezmann and Uber Meccano. France are playing a low block as well. They've put Griezmann at number 10, Benzema and Bappe. So obviously football manager can't quite do every injury possible, but it's going to be a test. It is going to be a test to see how we go against the French. Pavard to Benzema. Gets it back to Mike Minot. Who goes down the middle and only as far as Cummings! Oh my god! I mean, much like real life, Australia lead the French. My nan has had an absolute mare. Lecky finds Cummings. Cummings had all this time in the world. That was not a very good chance for the French. France down 1-0. Early on, they're, they're fighting to stay in the World Cup as it stands. Here we go, Ryan, out to Moy. Benzema into Mbappe, and yeah, you just knew, you just knew. I don't, I didn't ask for my keeper to do that. What the hell has he done? What the hell has he done? I, I would like a look at that, please. In transition, in possession, I would like you to out of possession. Where's, where's goalkeeper? In transition, I would like short kicks to the flank. Oh, we'll take long kicks. Do it if I have to take long kicks to the flanks, I will do it. Because that was not what I asked for. Mbappe scored a simple one, and we've tried. We tried, but Aaron Moy was never going to hold up. Mbappe just absolutely broke that line. Pretty easily for a stitch. Ball in. And it's 2. It's 2-1. Two, Lecky has scored. He's having a belter of a World Cup in this save, at the very least. How that is a thing, I have no idea. But it's a thing. Matthew Lecky is absolutely balling, chat. I do not know how. But we are on a tear at the moment. Mbappe robbed by Degenek. And Ryan has the ball. If we can make it to half time with a lead, I'll be quite happy. Pavard on the right. Not the quickest right back. Mbappe misses again. We're not going to tell Sutana Mark and Mbappe because that's just going to lead to changes that we don't need. So we're going to leave all the instructions as is. Mbappe on the corner. Only as far as too many. Only as far as Pavard. Theo Hernandez has been tasked with clearing the ball. Getting it back into contention for the French. Behic is on the ball for Australia. He clears it to the French defence. Varane on it. Out to Upamecano. One of the two changes for the French. Mbappe. Kimpembe over to Theo on the left. Theo finds Benzema on the left. It is 2-2. Absolute belter of a game. Absolute belter of a game this is. France have had majority of the chances, so you could argue that they are deserving of these things here. And while well, Degenek has the ball, he clears it only as far as the French. And Mbappe, a save and a half from Matty Ryan to keep us in it. To keep us in it. My man. He's had one mare. Can he have two? Well, he have two. Well, not like that. And Griezmann is at the post. But that was not a good clearance. It's half time. Australia 2, France 2. The lads are doing quite well. For a team of players, Mbappe puts it in and it's over. It is over. How we are keeping up with this France team, I do not know. But we are doing quite well. We are doing much better than I expected. Mbappe finds Varane, and it is 3-2 to the French. Bit unlucky, but again, we're not really in this for this point. We're in this 
to try and qualify by beating Tunisia. That's that's the goal, Aaron Moy. Finds Mobile on the left, but he has a poor touch, so he loses it. Just not necessarily what we're after. And Griezmann finds Mbappe, and it's almost four. It was almost 4-2. It's out of play for an Australia throw. There is a change I want to make. Cummings. Cummings. He does get the ball taken off him by a French defender. I'm assuming it's Kimpembe, and it is four. Mbappe makes it 4-2 to the French. It's good resiliency from the Australians, but... It is good resiliency. Stensness coming on for Degenek, by the way. Degenek feeling the effects. So with the next available opportunity, and it's the same. Oh, wait, it's not recommending Degenek. It's recommending Moy. I thought I clicked the button. Over Makano. Karacic. Now to Degenek, who's still on somehow. Karacic. Goes to Devlin. Devlin out to Behic again. Behic down the left. Not really marking him very well. A bill. A bill. Ooh. It is a corner. It is a corner. So Australia through Aaron Moy. Working hard. Moy. Whips it in. Ooh. My nan. Doing quite well. Karacic. Only gives it as far as Theo Hernandez. Clearly the better of the two Hernandez brothers. Hrustich can't get it to Cummings, which is a shame. Too many. And Mbappe. Oh, he missed. He missed the chance to put Australia, who are still second, by the way. It looks like it's going to be a throwaway tie going into the final match day. And, well, that's an absolute belter. <laughs> that is just an absolute belter of a, of a goal. That's going to put, that is going to put, I don't know. We've tried just about everything, and this French side has just been too good. This French side's been too good. We've tried pretty much everything. We're in third at the moment, but we played Tunisia on the final day. France played Denmark, so realistically... We have to win. We need something a bit different, chat. Tunisia have gone full strength. They've gone 4-3-3 against Australia's 4-2-3-1. We've made a few changes, mostly forced. But I'm hoping we can get the point that we need. Because actually a point's not enough. We really need a win. A win would be ideal against this Tunisia side. And Australia McLaren. McLaren, not where he needs to be. Kowal into Karacic, into McLaren, into Krustic. McLaren, and McLaren's missed. Oh, that's, that's, that's not good. That is not good. I'm, I'm sorry. Corner. Moy, ooh, heads the ball behind for a, heads the ball behind for a, and, well, a point's not enough. We need a win. We're a goal behind on goal difference. We need a win. We need a win, chat. We're 20 minutes in. Australia have had all the shots. Australia have had all the shots, but we haven't done anything with it. Tunisia whips it in, clears it away. Garen Quall's going to run down that flank. He's going to run. He's going to give it to McLaren, but he loses it. Out to Kowal. Karacic. Moy. Over to Devlin. Back to Moy. Moy into Degenek. Over the back. Garen Kowal. Into Moy. And that. That's a pen. Is that a pen for Australia? Is that a penalty? It is a penalty for Australia. McLaren has taken it and he's scored. That is huge. Australia are 1-0 up in this crucial game against Tunisia. Absolutely crucial from the spot. We're going to remove that because, yeah, it's being a piece of shit. But we're second. We're first as it stands. We are first as it stands. 
Denmark are beating France. So by some miracle, we're going to be first in the group. Australia, cross stitch, whips it in. And Hassan holds the ball for Tunisia. He pumps it long, only as far as Fran Karacic from Brescia. Brescia Calcio. Fran Karacic. Oh, it's in! Rustic! Rustic makes it to Australia. Are all but home, I think. They would need to lose a 2 0 lead from this scenario. Rustic. Ball in, it is wide, but let's be honest. Australia are playing like the better side. Australia are playing like the better side. So you would imagine, you would imagine, chat, that these players are on a madness. Kazri puts it in. It's, it's clear. Degenek. And it is wide. It is another corner. It's a corner on the right now. Kazri. Cleared again, only as far as the clearance. Minutes counting down to Australia's first knockout stage games since 2006. And, well, they've just missed a chance to pull the goal difference back. Australia are going to qualify for their first games since the group. Since, yeah, Australia have qualified top. Since for the first time in their history, I think, ever, no. Tagliafico, the only change, coming in for Acuna, who is suspended. Australia's lineup, as you can see, is exactly as advertised. And Argentina playing the exact same formation, basically. They've got, obviously, plenty of star power, especially on that right-hand flank. They've got that. Little magician, Lionel Messi. Let's see. Who can start the best? If Australia gets this depends, it's anyone's game. But if we somehow win, I don't know. I don't know how we're surviving this long. I really don't. And oh my god, Australia are winning against Argentina. Harry Sutar... From the corner, Aaron Moy's corner has found Harry Sutar at the near post. And boy, has Australia done a madness early. We've got the more shots against Argentina. Messi has seemingly been pocketed by Aziz Bejic. Here we go, Aaron Moy again. Ooh. See, Argentina's defence, very shaky. Australia going to the half. 1-0 up against Argentina. Against Argentina, 1-0 up. The longer we survive, and here we go, this is, this is the danger. Di Maria. Di Maria, and it is back with Angel Di Maria who cuts in. It is a corner. It's a corner on the other side. It'll be a corner again for Di Maria. Puts it in. Cleared away. Back with Di Maria. And it's with Matthew Ryan of Australia. The minutes are counting down. Why is it still saying to get stuck in? I don't want the players getting stuck in. The players will get damaged. Well, here we go, chat. Messi. 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 And he's missed. Messi has missed. As is Bejic. Is off for Craig Goodwin. I know it's very attacking, but it's a very attacking change. But Rustic, Mobile, can't do anything with that. That's not a good sign. Romero finds Messi. Goodwin against Messi is not the best matchup, if you're really honest. Tagliafico finds Di Maria. Di Maria levels. Still 20 odd minutes to play, and Di Maria has leveled for Argentina. It was coming, I feel, from an Australia point of view. Mabil. 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 And Mabil is wide, of course. Because Mabil's not known for his shooting, let's be honest. Kowal is on. We're going to see if the pace of Garen Kowal 
can do anything against this Argentina defense. But the longer this goes, the longer this goes, chat, well, we're going to have to let this play out. Ball over the back. It's with Paredes. Paredes has it. Paredes to Di Maria. Di Maria. He finds Lataro. He cannot do a thing with the subsequent shot. Here we go. If anyone's going to do it, it's Messi. And Lionel Messi has sunk the Australian dream. There is no shame in this result. Lionel Messi with an absolute ripper. I don't think there's anything that can be done from that scenario. It's an absolute GG to Argentina. They fought very hard in that second half. Australia probably could have defended far better. But, well, we did very well. Australia lose 2-1. Australia lose 2-1. They must build. Well, it's quite good. They are quite good indeed. I may play on with this save. It depends how bored I get. But, but they did quite well. Let's hold a team meeting to finish the video. We were rank outsiders, you gave it your all. I don't think we deserve the bays, we shouldn't be happy. Well, why are they weary? Like, you did well. They did very well. We're not gonna see who wins, because it's just a case of the same old, same old. But, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like, hit the sub. It's about an hour and a half long, but I hope you enjoyed this, because we did much better than I think anyone expected. And I'll catch you all in the next one.